go about your day. That's it. Jesus. And look, do you think they'd buy you a drink if you told them that beforehand? What the fuck? No, that's why you gotta play them. For those of you who don't know, Jack Manley is an individual that started off the whole street interview with drunk girls craze. Started doing it five years ago, and since then, it's become a huge thing on YouTube. And most importantly for us, he's very good at talking to women. So we're gonna do a charismatic breakdown. We're gonna look at what makes him attractive to the opposite sex. So what can this baby face Casanova show us? I'm running a boot camp in a little over a month in Austin, Texas. August 5th through the 7th, you will be going out six hours a day with one of the world's greatest dating coaches. I've worked with multiple companies, been in the industry now for 11 years, and you'll get coaching from me six hours a day. The girls in Austin are gorgeous. Sixth Street is incredible. Payment plans are available. If you are interested, text 702-841-9909. And I look forward to hearing from you. Well, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jack Manley here. Tonight, we're at the office again. Giving the people what they, want, what they want, even if it costs us our soul. What they want. Tell them what they and want. And tonight we're asking girls if they like when guys ask for their number. So those guys were trying to take the girl, obviously. There's no reason for them to talk to the guy otherwise. Did he look affected whatsoever? No. The person in a situation like this that cares the least always wins the girl over. Let's bang the noodle. Do girls like when guys ask for their number? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Oh my god, it's so hot. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Fuck no. No. Yes. No. Depends if the guy's cute, to be honest. Uh Watch his eye contact. Yeah. We're dating, so no. No. <laughs> no. Depends. On what? If the guy's ugly, then no. But if he's cute, then yes. So it depends more on the guy and yeah. less about... Like, if you know, like, you're gross and, like, out of the league, then, like, hop out. Yeah. Don't bother me. But, like, if you're cute, then, like, come on. Okay, it's, it's nice. All right. Yeah, step one, be hot. Step two, ask for the number. Yeah. Or be funny or something. You have to have something. So they got to come up and build a little rapport? Of course. You should start off with a conversation first. Okay. Not Get so much to know them a little more? Sure. Because if you give them your number right off the bat, it's like, who is this person? Exactly. Okay. Talk to me for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Give you a little foreplay? A <laughs> foreplay? I mean, if that's what they're into. <laughs> so what? Step one, be hot. Step two, no. ask for the number. Step yeah. one, be a kind person. Yeah. All right. I'm kind. You've got nice eyes. Honestly, if, if they're wearing a washer, that's it. That's it for me. I'm like, done deal. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you guys already know. Can I meet your parents, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, What's the best way to ask a girl? Who's at the cause and who's at the effect of every interaction? Who's reacting more to the other person? Number. Um, honestly, just making out with her. Okay. The, the second. <laughs> oh, you okay? Now give me them digits, girl. <laughs> I want 10 right now. Just ask for it. Don't ask for my snap. Ask for my number. We're not like in middle school. Like, don't go asking for people's Snapchat. I feel like it's really manly when a guy comes up to you and he asks for your number. Rather than your Snapchat. Snapchat. It's like he really wants to get to know you instead of like, you know, if he if he gets your snatcher, he's going to ask for nudes, you know? Should they just come up to you and just be real up front? Like, hey, you're pretty, what's your number? Or yeah. should they play it slow? No, they should be like, basically, you're pretty, what's your number? Yeah? Yep. Don't waste any time? Yep. What if a guy just comes up to you and says, you're pretty, what's your number? That'd be perfect. Really? Guys just like are weird with it and they're like, they're like, hey. I'm like, that's just, that's too much. Yeah. It's too much. Don't do the hay. Be subtle. Just be like, yeah. you're pretty. No games. Just up straight. Just yeah. come up to me and be like, damn, you're cute. Yeah. Can I get your number? That's it. What if they went even further? What if they just went up to you and said, huh? hey, let's smash? Shit. Um, if you're going to buy me a gyro, all right. Well, <laughs> thanks for letting us know what the cost is. <laughs> You don't like when guys ask for your number? No, ask for my Snapchat. I'll feel more comfortable. If a guy asks you for your number, do you like it? I said, no, write your name on a dollar. If the dollar comes back to me, I like it. Oh, that's stupid. And they said, that's dumb. Oh, my God. <laughs> you guys don't, like, believe in serpentipity. At the end of the day, if you ask for my number and you, you build up enough courage to come to me in front of my friends. I stay loose. I stay tight. I stay loose. I stay tight. Why do the worst personalities always have to be attached to the most attractive women? Oh! Okay, wait a sec. You got any tips on yeah. getting girls' numbers? Tip for guys. Have money, don't be broke, 
and that's period. Don't be creepy. Buy them a drink. If you like are like weird about it and you're like, can I get your number? It's weird. If you come up with like something smart on the spot, then I'll get your number. You know what I mean? You can be my thumbnail girl. Oh shit. You can have the whole channel. Try to get the ass on it though. Yeah, sure. Yeah, give me all of it. All 80 pounds. Oh my god, listen to this shit. So I was in Dallas or somewhere, I don't remember. And this guy was like, hey, like do you like So look at the energy underneath the eye contact he's given as well. He's giving a seductive look without breaking the tension. He's never fake laughing. He's never moving unnecessarily. He is rocking a little bit here, but for the most part, in comparison to other men, he's acting a lot differently than they would. So the girls get attracted because he can handle the tension. Dad jokes, and I was like, no. And he was like, okay, well, my dad died. Give me your number. And I just kind of walked away. What? What? Do you usually do when a guy comes up to you and asks for your number down here? If I'm single, I'll play along with it. I'd say kiss him, fuck him. Whoa. Okay. Social That's address. That's actually the order I've been going first. So, it's an awesome order. No, first sex, then oral, then feeling up, then kissing, and then, then talking. Then social. No, you yeah. need the social. The word. Yeah. Opposite. Yeah, anyway. if you kiss girls during sex... The guy was trying to butt in there and he was feeling a little uncomfortable. So he likes the girl. So he's trying to make fetch happen, which always makes girl run away. So Jack Manley ignores the guy. A lot of times guys will jump in when it's a situation such as this late at night where the guy does have a crush on the girl. Look, 90% of the guys that you don't know that jump in while you're talking to a girl are not going to lie are enemies because the majority of guys nowadays are thirsty as fuck. So when you're out and about and you're talking to a girl and you don't know the fucking guy, don't give him energy. Unless the girl is good friends with him and she's giving the guy energy and even then don't give the guy energy. So this is a weird thing. It's going to sound rude as fuck, but guys are thirsty. Guys are lying to everybody about how they're not and how they don't care about results. But then all of a sudden they get into a situation like this and they become complete vultures. They become liars. They'll do anything to get into a girl's pants, including screw you over when you're being nice. There's been so many times where I lost a girl because I was being nice to a guy and the guy was just being a two-faced loser. So, when you're out and about, if you don't know the guy, don't give him energy. Sim. I feel like even when I'm walking in the grocery store or down the street, I'll look over to my right, and I can see when they're staring at my ass, and I don't sit there either. I fucking say some shit, you know? Really? And it's embarrassing, too. Like, everyone will be laughing at them. Girls are so entitled. I will not give a damn. Oh, yeah, you know how many memories I got in my Snapchat? Where I'm like, I'm sorry, sir. Why are you staring at my butt? Like, I, I will go off. You men need to learn some manners, all right? Oh, if yeah, you want to talk to me, talk to me right to my face. Don't talk to my ass, you know? All right, bro, like, honestly. Again, I wish these hot girls had personalities. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jack Manley, here. Tonight, we're asking girls why they like to come downtown. Let's bang the noodle. Why do girls like to come out downtown? To have fun. To drink. To have fun. To get drunk. To have fun. And this is my man on the phone. Because it's fun and we get free drinks. At least the pretty ones. Because they want to hang out with their friends. It's her. Like, she's my best friend. I've known her for years. I'm just here to spend my, like, time with her. And that's, like, my focus. Like, no, guys, I'm engaged. Because we like to get fucked up and meet a lot of niggas. Yeah. I even yeah. though I got a hickey on my neck, but we like to meet a lot of niggas. Oh, God. <laughs> because we're bad bitches and we need to show the world that we're bad bitches. You need to show off? Yeah. Throw some out. Have I a couple of drinks. Have a good time. All right, I got yeah. you. Yeah. So not for guys? No, fuck that. I'm giving these girls a lot of shit. They're in their early 20s and they're drunk. So but when people say this shit, they are, generally speaking, in a different headspace. However, I don't nearly say this much stupid shit when I'm drunk. Guys are definitely not part of the reason why you came downtown, though. I like how I started watching this video trying to break down Jack Manley, and I'm just getting frustrated and annoyed with the girls. Ugh. 30-man-year-old old guy vibes. No! Not at all? No. All right. I think girls mainly come down to have a good time. If they meet a guy that's a good guy that they're attracted to, that's great. If they don't meet a guy that they're attracted to, whatever. Do you like to come out for the guys? No, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> you go out with your friends. You're pre-gaming with your friends. You want to go out with your friends to hang out with your friends. Yeah. That's a plus that you meet guys and like that's cool, but that's not the main reason. Sorry, y'all. So if guys aren't part of the reason why you came downtown, why, you know, make yourself look good and 
you know, for put yourself. On an okay. Yeah. Why do you think most guys come downtown? The to bitches. get the pussy? Yeah, the bitches. <laughs> Why do we guys come downtown? Yeah. The bitches. Already. Pussy. Because there's bad bitches here, bro. It's for the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we just trying to find some bitches, honestly, yeah. bro. I think that everybody's trying to get some bitches, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why else? Get a fucking chick, fuck bitches, and that's all they want to do. Yeah. I swear. <laughs> I swear to God. Not for the dancing. Not for the dancing. They come Not out, for the music. They come out, they say, hey. Not for the food. I'm I love the honesty of men. Fuck a bitch tonight. The fuck? That's the every only time. reason why every only dude is reason here. Why. Yes, that's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> what? Would you come down here if it was all dudes? No, bro. Hell no, I wouldn't. Honestly, bro, we like to see ass. I like to see females. I'm single. Ray Domingo from Monday to Domingo. Oh, God. To you get to choose one, alcohol or girls? Why can't I choose both? You like to drink down there? Yes, sir. Hey, you know we're getting lit out here. Is it just bro. about drinking? And yes, dancing? sir. And, and you know what else? But I ain't gonna. I got. I got a girl, so I can't be saying shit. <laughs> okay. You feel me? Yeah. So yeah, she doesn't have to know. Yeah. yeah. You feel me? Yeah. She, she yeah. Us, yeah. Don't worry. Me and the boys. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. We'll, we'll keep like it on lock, bro. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah. Yeah. No snitches, all right? No snitches. We're gonna find you. We're out all night to get lucky. Oh yeah. Have you found that lucky guy or what? You have? What? No, we don't like men. No. Could you rank them in order? What's most important? Let's have a good time. Let's have a good time. So, have you guys ever seen that happen? It's because the girls feel she wants, she feels like she's not getting enough attention or validation, so she'll trample on her friend to get out of a situation. This is kind of annoying. Uh, or she's trying to protect her friend from her doing something stupid that her boyfriend obviously wouldn't like. So it could be that too, but oftentimes girls are very catty towards even their friends. Most girls are. Some girls are really close and really tight and they would never do that to each other. But to be fair, a lot of guys are like this too. So I can't say shit. Yeah. Right, what's next? Alcohol or the, the, drinks, the drink neighbors? And the niggas. And niggas, yeah. Niggas come third. <laughs> so you came down for your birthday? What is celebrating your birthday on 6th Street entail? Um, it just really mean that I get free drinks all night. So uh, that's what I came here for. I haven't paid for one drink because it's my birthday and I look good. I just walk around like I'm that bitch because I am. Yeah? Yeah. You just show off? I just show off. All I got to do is walk yeah. and bitches be mad. Throw some ass. For, exactly. Accept some free drinks. Period. Reject some guys. Period. Then go home, snuggle up in your bed alone. Happy as a bird. Yep. Did you come down and maybe find a guy too? Um, no. I'm not looking for no man. These man ain't shit. shit. Yeah. The men come looking for me, they buy me drinks, and I just walk off. And they over here arguing. So wait, so arguing. why aren't you looking for a man? Because How come they're not shit. See, again, the girl behind him is trying to talk to him, and he's not even giving her energy. He's putting all his energy into the girl he's into, and her friend now, now that the girl's hooked and is in the conversation, she's trying to get a part of the conversation, trying to butt in. She also has some negative energy. This is very common with younger girls. When a younger girl's friend is getting hit on, she'll try to fuck her friend's situation up uh, because she's not getting validated. So again, come back to it. If a girl's like trying to butt in and you haven't developed a friendship vibe with her, me, a lot of my game is built around making friends. But if you're not close with her, you don't like her, you don't like the energy, you don't like her her intent, don't don't let her into your world. Cut her out. And it also makes you look a lot more masculine and more at ease to the girl. They're not shit and they're dirty. They sting, they don't clean up, they're just dirty, ugly people. And like men are just ugly as fuck. Damn. So just buy me my drink and go about your day. That's it. Jesus. And look, Do you they think they'd buy you a drink if you told them that beforehand? What the fuck? No, that's why you gotta play them. <laughs> Would you come out if there weren't free drinks? Um, well, I mean, I get free drinks anywhere, so... Okay, from where? From literally anywhere. Like, from the guys or what? Girls, guys, gays, bi's, queer, shit, I don't know. Do you get free drinks? I do. That's nice. It is nice. Do you get paid just to exist? <laughs> I do not get paid to exist. Why do you think they like to get you drunk? Um, you know, that's a good question. I don't know, you don't have to ask them, don't ask me. Okay. I'm not the one giving people free drinks. Yeah. People are all the ones you giving me free drinks. You never questioned it. You're yeah. just like, yeah, sure. What is it about loud, like, loud noises and, you know, dark rooms and, like, strobe lights that can give 
you an aneurysm. What is it that really brings the girls out? They come to blackout and like forget about life, and then they feel more confident because like the lights are off and they're smashed. He has a very loose, authentic smile as well. It's not him trying to put up a front or him trying to act a certain way. It's him just giving off energy. He is very, his facial features are very loose. It's not overthinking. He doesn't look in his head. He's just very relaxed. He's very still. He's at ease in his body. The music's pounding in their heads and they can't feel the fact that they're they so like, fucked it up. It just blocks out the rest of the world. The number one thing I've seen about Jack Manley in this video is that he has an incredible ability to handle situations that are not necessarily going to his favor or handling obstacles. He is not letting the environment itself dictate the way he's gonna act or what he's gonna do. He's going to decide what am I gonna pay attention to, what am I gonna give energy to? And that's a powerful skill. A lot of guys I've seen where a guy jumps in a set or there's somebody around you or somebody's doing this or somebody's doing that or somebody's screaming, most guys snap to attention, similar to a deer. But how would a lion move? A lion moves slow, languidly, all right, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment section below. With that being said, peace. Yo, bitch, I got some